and for re password re password okay for re password uh, equal to right equal to <coughs> equal to the message is passwords and confirm password must match i'll say okay so messages i can give custom message let's see what what it has got tell submit it says this field is required let's say a enter a password of at least eight characters and it says password and confirm password must match okay so let's say i do this it says password and confirm password must match all right so and registration form and re password hash yeah here equal to its id hash means id match to this particular id that's what it says so now if i say to email let's say instead of password i'll say email okay hash email so we have an id called email to i'll say this and i'll enter this see it says password and this okay now let's do one thing here so i i'll try abc at the rate abc dot com okay i'll submit now see password and this match so i'll type abc at the rate abc dot com so it says matched so that's what match to this particular id that's what it says when say when i say hash all right so that is it so will you be able to write uh, will you be able to write for the others like the name and age okay name should be alpha which is right here i'll show you oh actually there is no alpha you have to write for alpha man it's a custom uh, custom method which i'll be telling you tomorrow and tomorrow we'll start a introduction for php so custom will take time actually so just keep writing uh, re just replicate this form that's it don't download it exact same form same validations always use validations in your files wherever and follow my rules my set of rules whatever i do i'll write i'll write this you know the best practice i tell you take off everything this okay what i do is like i control x there and here i paste and i'll say here i'll save it in scripts here okay i'll say registration form dot js okay instead of writing there i'm using all sorts of external files the code should be clean i need here i'll say scripts okay here registration form dot js all right the code should always be clean i need when somebody looks at our source code like like this okay it has nothing except the code you see no scripts nothing inline styles only classes a clean neat code that is what we want any time any time this is what we want now refresh a submit still the validations work because it's an external file all right yeah can you replicate it this replicated try yourself and do validations for name and uh, age you can find the links here uh, the jquery validation and you know come back to the videos if you find tough time to doing this so how do you feel the validations like <coughs> now like such we have so many plugins for jquery you go there sometimes people want carousel sliders you have plugin for everything everything and the integration is just like this okay i'll i'll share a source with you like you know where do you find these jquery plugins i have a beautiful source actually like you know there's a website standard website where you find all these plugins and jquery is very easy that's what write less do more that is what but i'll tell you javascript is more power
filter interval with jQuery. That's only with JavaScript. So if you want, if you want to, and time functions, you have a jQuery plugin for uh, date picker. Okay, try that too. That's important. So we'll use that date picker in our project. Okay, so I'll show you uh, something like this. Okay, jQuery. Okay, carousal. Carousal is see ringing carousals with jQuery image slider. Amazing carousal. So let's go to amazingcarousal. Okay, what this does is, you see here, this is carousal. So this is carousal. You see this? You click here. This is carousal. So how do we do this? Now it says, here, here we go. Uh, Windows 8 and Mac, I don't know. Is it jQuery? Yeah, response is jQuery, it says. So all you got to do is like download. Okay, for Windows it says, I don't know what is Windows and Mac, I never heard. So when in doubt, don't use it. External plugins, when you have slight piece of, any simple, just simple doubt, don't use it. So this this looks like a jQuery official one, jQuery, yeah, this is, uh, oh, this is a method, I guess. Let's see. Click on this. So let's go to view home page to say, yeah, this is. So this is the actual jQuery carousel, whatever these guys have given. Okay, like search, and let's go back uh, to something else and see. <clears throat> it says, yeah, this is one nice carousel, old carousel. And let's use this too. Okay, it says free. Touch. This has all the actions actually. Like you know, you see on iPods and uh, sorry, not iPods, iPhones and you know these Android phones. Oh, this and this the same. Oh, okay. So and let's see this too. So what does this has? <coughs> the same. And this guy has different like like such. So how do we do it? It's it's pretty simple. You download it, implement it. Where do you want to apply? You have to apply it. If you want, you can try it. See YouTube video gallery too. He says this is this is a good one. I'm I'm gonna implement this in total slide. Like you watch different sets of videos. See, it's good. Nice. So how how do we do? Click on download. <coughs> so download simple slide show maker. So development kit is like if you want to write the code, okay? So you download it, just this, okay? Slideshow maker it says, save it. And see also instructions to make slideshow it says. So let's see instructions. What is the instruction? Open, everything is right here. Copy HTML code. Oh, this guy wants us to go the other way actually. I don't want to do that. Sorry, it's 9.1 MB. I don't want it. It's giving all sets up. So what I do is like I'll go with this since this is and it has a documentation too. Nice. Always go for things which has documentation. Okay. It says usage. How do we use it? So it says all you gotta do is like give a class to that div and say dot j carousel. If you want scrolling, if you want any other thing, you can you can do that too. It says. Will you try or shall we do it tomorrow? How do we go? Try this uh, J carousel, whatever. I'll, I'll ping the URL. Oh, I can't copy it here. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the URL. Okay. So that is it. And I'll post this URL in the tutors live groups too. And I hope uh, you'll find it from there. All right. So just check on a few things. Always I'll tell you, learning is the best way we, we become an expert. So always try to learn, grasp as much as you can. But only grasp what is useful. 
don't waste time on useless things like when i say useless like, uh, don't work on which is not necessary in your project that's what i say and that that actually the things which you use in your projects keeps you interested actually that's where you do actual coding so when you say okay i'll say you guys like you know hey go practice accordion let's say accordion is again a jquery uh, animation actually so when i say accordion accordion i'll spell it uh, write it here for guys who find it hard so accordion this is this is most famous again accordion carousel uh, carousel and timers so these are important actually accordion carousel timers and what uh, scrollers these are also important like jquery scrollers when you see that acts loading while scrolling so you can find always the plugins always try to implement it make your own snippets like what i suggest people is make your own snippets make your own these js files now you see this this js file registration form oh I, I closed it right so uh screen share so you see that registration dot registration form dot js there okay i can use it anywhere all i gotta do is like you know just include it so always make reusable code so that's why that's why i say make snippets if you make carousel here today make a snippet of it tomorrow all you gotta do is like pick it up include it okay you got it topic what i'm saying always Whenever you code something, remember this thing.